Walking in that cage and walking out. The roller coaster ride of getting ready and putting the work I put in for eight weeks. And then getting a win. I don't think there's any job or amount of money or you know anything that makes you feel like that. You just feeling alive. I, mean, I could go do other things and you know work a nine to five and do my thing and. But this is what I'm, you know, happen to be really good at. And I just, you know, I have that feeling of, man, I, I love this. The first seeds of Logan Storley's love of competition were planted on the family farm in northeast South Dakota. We're are we east of Roslyn, a um, couple miles. So this is where, where I grew up and spent all my time. And obviously when I got into high school, I was traveling a lot with, with wrestling. So most of my summers I was gone quite a bit. But... Yeah, so there's a lot of pictures of me with the cowboy hat, and I was a real, I was a real farm kid there for a while. Roslyn didn't have wrestling, so when Logan was five years old, his folks started driving him about 20 miles to Webster. I won four or five little kid state titles. I, I liked it, you know. I, they, my parents really didn't force me to do it, and it was something that I wanted to do for forever, and so that was kind of my, that's why I wanted to be, you know, great at it. From 2006, when he was just 13 years old, through 2011, Storley won six straight high school state championships. The results of talent and training and an almost obsessive amount of planning. I had notebooks. I, I don't know where they're at, but I have six notebooks of written out of what exactly was going to happen. The first round, quarters, semis, finals, you know, who I was going to have, what the scores were. And after I won that first one, I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win six. Cause I, you know, I, no one else worked worked like me, and I and I knew that, you know, no one else did the camps that I did. No one else went and wrestled college guys. No one, no one really wanted to do that all the time, and so I just, you know, I knew I was ahead of people with the way that I worked. In college, Storley had a successful career at the University of Minnesota, but one that left him unsatisfied. As a team, he and the Gophers were national runner-up twice to Penn State. Storley was a four-time All-American, but he never won an individual national title, a fact that still motivates him. And the day he graduated, he headed to Arizona to start training for the next step. I got my truck and said, well, see you later, Minneapolis, and I'm, I'm going to fight. And then I fought in, uh, at the Pentagon in August. That was 2015, and he won that fight by TKO, and then won four more in a row in the minor league, so to speak. In 2017, Storley signed with big-time promoter Bellator, and he won six more fights in a row over the next three years. He was undefeated and rising in the ranks. And then, this past November, in the biggest fight of his young career, Storley faced Yaroslav Amosov, another unbeaten welterweight. Yaroslav Dynamo! Yeah, you know, I knew it was close, and I knew, you know, he was, uh, he was maybe the favorite, you know, and, and things like that, but, you know, you, it's something you learn from. I'm glad it happened now, early in my career, and you learn from it. Um, at that stage instead of being in a title fight, instead of, you know, being defending your title for the second time and you make those mistakes. So I learned a lot. I still think I'm the better fighter. You know, I, I truly do in my in my mind and I think a lot of other people do too. But that's the way that's the way fighting works is you got three people who sit behind the cage and make their decision and you know that night I only got one out of the three. So the loss certainly stung Storley. But he says he has always learned more in his handful of losses than in his hundreds of wins. And while he waits for his next fight, his career is in good standing. You know, I'm a fight or two away from being right back in that title hunt. So that's kind of the, the plan now, is just to you know, go back to the drawing board, get healthy, and you know, hopefully get to go beat him up <laughs> here and meet him again here soon. It is not lost on Storley that that is his job, to beat people up but he is not a violent or an angry person. He is a tough guy when he needs to be and a sweet guy when he doesn't. I know what to do when it's all, you know, when I'm in there and get that done. But when I'm, when I'm done, it's like the last thing I want to do is fight or be aggressive because I do it every day, all day long, you know? Storley has found the time and taken the time to coach little kids at a Sanford training facility in Florida. And he has recently taken up a new sport that can be as brutal as any. 
I started golfing about two years ago in Florida. Of course, I had to get competitive and go get new clubs and start watching, you know, <laughs> go get lessons and do all that. But no, I, I, I enjoy playing golf and I adopted a cat and so that keeps me, she keeps me busy. So does business. Storley does have a business marketing degree and he has put it to work in the last five years. I do a lot of real estate investing, and so there's a lot of guys in Minnesota wrestling world that um, are, in, are in commodities and real estate investing, and so that's something I'm good at, and I like, and I enjoy, and have properties in Minneapolis, and so I enjoy that part. I'd love to come back here. Um, I don't know if I'm, if I'm a farmer or not. <laughs> Ask my dad, I'll tell you I'm not. <laughs> no, I, I'd like to come back and, and, and be back in South Dakota, but We'll see. And we'll see how long he goes in the MMA game. He is 28, and he points out that although training can be hard on any human, 12 fights in five years so far is not a lot. I would like to fight until I'm 33, 34. I'd like to go win a belt and defend it a time or two. I think I'll be pretty, pretty happy with, with my career and what I've done to be the best in the world. And so I think if I can go do that, I will, uh, then maybe I can go do something else, you know. Well, Storley's latest Bellator fight was epic. Five rounds against Neiman Gracie, a jiu-jitsu specialist, and the fourth round of this fight was wild. Storley got stunned by a shot to the eye, but he recovered, dug down, and came back with an attack of his own to win that round and win the fight. Kind of just found a way to you know, fight out of it. He threw a lot of punches, um, and I could tell he was tired. And then I was kind of, that's when you bite down your mouthpiece and say, you know, it, let's go. It is what it is. I survived it. And I landed that left, you know, two, one body shot, you know, and uh, then I landed that left hook and he was on uh, wobbly legs and dropped them. And it took everything I had. And then some, and then at the end of the fourth, we both were exhausted, <laughs> barely walking back to the corners. But I kind of knew then that, you know, that that's his best shot. And, you know, he couldn't put me down and, and I dropped him. So. In my head, I was up four nothing, you know, four rounds of nothing and had to go out there and just perform for five more minutes and you were sitting pretty good. So Storley is now 13 and one and coming up May 13th in London, Storley will fight Michael Page for the Bellator interim welterweight title. Page was supposed to fight current welterweight champion Yaroslav Amosov, but Amoslav is in his home country of Ukraine right now fighting the war against the Russians. So with Amosov sidelined temporarily, Storley got the call to fight Page. This fight, you know, Page is extreme, extremely athletic, extremely fast, covers distance really well, but he's not as good on the ground. You know, he's, they're two completely different fights, but the speed in this one will be different. You know, he changes stances, he's in and out. Um, he's got really, really fast hands and really fast knees and kicks. So your eyes have to read everything. There's a big process that goes behind it, but at the end of the day, um, you gotta, I gotta be me. You know, I'm not gonna change everything. Um, you know, just because of one guy, I still have to, I have to stay true to my roots and, and be me and focus on what I'm good at. But, but I, I know how, how good he is and how fast he is and that, um, he does have very dangerous, uh, kicks and knees. And so we're well prepared, just like we were, um, this last fight, it's just a quicker turnaround is all, you know, well, Storley's only professional loss is to Amasov, and Storley would obviously like a rematch at some point. But Logan says he's not even thinking about that right now. He is all in on the page fight coming up on May 13th. This has been Midco Sports Magazine presented by Build Your Base with Beef Sports Nutrition and Training Program.